Hey Saberland, Dave with Electrum Sabercrafts here, and today we're going to be going over how to install the new firmware into your Electrum Sabercrafts Diadium 3 equipped lightsaber. A uh, few things we'll be covering in this video is of course how to update your saber, as well as a few troubleshooting tips uh, should you encounter any issues with your SD cards or sound fonts, and a few things on the app side for the Unity 2 app as well. So to get started, you're going to need, obviously, your smart saber. You're going to need an SD card adapter so that you can take the SD card and plug it into your computer. And you're going to need a Windows or Mac OS computer to install the firmware files. So to start, grab your smart saber, take the pommel off, and you're going to want to put the saber into deep sleep mode by using the switch inside the pommel here. Just push it towards the emitter end. That'll turn the saber off and then you can remove the SD card from the saver. And then you can plug it into your adapter and then directly into your computer. And then we can move over to the computer to install the firmware files. On the computer side, you'll see that we've got one sound font already installed onto this SD card, uh, but we're gonna start fresh here. What you can do is just delete the sound font and anything else on the SD card off of the SD so that you can start fresh and you'll navigate to electrumsavers.com forward slash updates to download the new firmware version for your saber. A few things to note when you're downloading the new firmware is that this page has a troubleshooting and release notes section so that you can read up on anything that you might encounter when updating. So it's important that you read all of these instructions thoroughly before trying to do the update. You're also going to want to make sure that you download the appropriate version for your Saber, either NeoPixel or InHilt LED. If you install the wrong firmware version onto your Saber, there's the potential that you could down damage the Saber hardware. So you're going to want to make sure that you know which version you're downloading. The troubleshooting and resources section of the site has detailed instructions on how to identify what model you have if you're unsure. Uh, but if you ever need help, our handy support chat down at the right hand corner here can help you identify what kind of saber you have. So you want to download the, click one of these to download the firmware. I've already done that. And we've also provided a 44.1 kilohertz sound font so that you can install that onto your saber as well. So I've already got those open over here. You're going to want to copy you're going to want to open the zip file. So when you download it, it'll come as a zip file. You want to open that and then copy the files from inside. Don't extract it directly into your SD card because it could put it into a subfolder. You want the files to be in the root of your SD card. So we copied over the loader and deboot file. And then we'll also copy over that new 44.1 kilohertz sound font onto the SD as well. And once that's done, we can eject the SD card from the computer, plug it into the saver, and update the saver firmware. Over on the saver side, now that we've got our SD card here, take our saver and plug the SD card back in, like so. And then we can take the saver out of deep sleep by toggling the switch inside the pommel towards the speaker. The LEDs on the switch plate right in the middle will start to flash, and this is indicating that your saver is downloading the firmware. You want to make sure that while this is happening, you don't toggle the deep sleep switch inside the saver uh, back into deep sleep. You want to make sure that you let the saver complete the firmware download, which it's just done there. When the lights flash, that means that the firmware has been installed and it'll take a second to boot up here while it generates some new buffer files on your SD card. So you'll notice that there's a boot sound coming from the speaker when the saber is ready to go, and now your saber is ready to use. No problems there. And now we can cover some troubleshooting tips. All right, now that we've got our Saber updated to the newest firmware, we can cover a couple of troubleshooting items you might encounter after you've updated your Smart Saber. The first one of note would be on the Unity 2 app. So if you have your Saber fired up, you may notice that 
your Sabre name and Sabre model have been reset to defaults being Sabre D3 and an errant model. This is actually easily changed using the new Unity 2 app. You'll simply connect to the Sabre. And you can change the Sabre model by tapping the Sabre name, under, or the Sabre model name underneath the icon there, and picking the Sabre model that matches your Smart Sabre. And to change the Sabre name, simply hit the settings icon at the top right, and you'll have an option right at the top to change the Sabre name. Note that changing the Sabre name and the Sabre model uh, changes settings within the Bluetooth itself, so it may take several connections on the Unity 2 app before they show up, but rest assured that they have been changed and set on the Bluetooth. It's just your phone needs to reset the cache before those options show up. So we'll turn off the saver here and cover another troubleshooting item. There is a new hard reset process on versions 3.0 and up. To do a hard reset, you want to toggle your deep sleep switch. So we'll put it back into deep sleep like so, and then take it out of deep sleep. When the lights stop flashing, that's when you want to hold the bottom button and you want to hold it until the lights on the switch plate flash again. Then you can release. The saber will take a moment to reset all of the settings on the saber to factory and then your hard reset is complete. You'll, want, you'll know that it's done when you hear the boot sound from the speaker. The Sabre also features a error code system on the switch plate itself during boot up. I can simulate that here for you if I remove this SD card and then take the Sabre out of deep sleep. When all the lights on the switch plate flash like so, this means that there is an error reading your SD card. This can mean that the SD card is loose, as is the case here, or damaged, or potentially uh, there's a formatting error. If uh, you can't get your SD card to connect after checking that it's firmly seated, you can check that your SD card is formatted to FAT32 and that it's no bigger than 32 gigabytes and that there's no partitions, and that all the folders inside of the saver match the conventions as listed in the manual. No subfolders, only WAV files. If I plug in this other SD card here, and I take the saver out of deep sleep, when it flashes the top and bottom like that and attempts to reboot, this means that the saver cannot reconcile the sound fonts inside of the SD card and that it is either missing the sound fonts or that the sound fonts are formatted incorrectly. So if you've added any sound fonts to the saver, you want to make sure that they are 44.1 kilohertz, that none of the audio files are inside of any subfolders, and that the names of the folders themselves contain no spaces or special characters. And that's everything you need to know about the firmware and troubleshooting the firmware on your Electron Sabercraft's Diadium 3 equipped smart saver. As always, if you have any questions or need any assistance, our support chat is open to you Monday to Friday. Simply hit the icon on the website to chat with one of our agents. And our website also features a troubleshooting and resources section that has all the information you'll need to know about your new firmware on your SmartSaber. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you.